Hey, Psych2Goers. Thanks for joining us for another video. Have you experienced any trauma in your childhood? I hear you, me too. Childhood trauma is any life-threatening, scary, or violent experience that happens to those who are 18 years or younger. I don't know about you, but I've noticed that it has caused me to approach certain situations differently as an adult. So let's take a look at how your childhood trauma shapes how you see the world. Number one, you may be a cup half empty type of person. Childhood trauma can come in all shapes, sizes, and severities. Whether it involves having a loved one lying to you, leaving, not reciprocating love, or literal abuse, when these events are experienced at such a young age, it can potentially impact and shape the way you view future events. Take the musical Annie. Her parents left her at an orphanage at a very young age. On top of that, the orphanage owner, Miss Hannigan, used her and the other orphans as free labor. Growing up, she fantasized about the day when her parents would come back, but it never happened. Anytime someone came to adopt a child, Annie always took it personally. Since her own parents didn't want her and Miss Hannigan had always put her down, Annie felt like there was something wrong with her, that no one would ever want her. If Daddy Warbucks didn't come into the picture when he did, it's very possible that Annie would have lost all her optimism. After all, the trauma she experienced taught her that she was meant to be and should expect to be treated in that way. But is this true? Absolutely not. Annie is bright, wonderful, and caring, and her parents had passed away without any other family to care for her. This is an example of how childhood trauma can lead to pessimism later on in life. Number two, you may feel limited in the world due to your medical conditions, both mental and physical. Childhood trauma, unfortunately, is a large cause of mental illness. It can lead to anxiety, depression, psychosis, and even post-traumatic stress disorder. Researchers also found that childhood trauma can lead to physical health conditions, such as lung disease, cardiovascular disease, arthritis, high blood pressure, and even cancer. Let's say a childhood event left you with PTSD and anxiety. This alone can make you avoid certain events or situations that can cause you panic. Since gastrointestinal diseases such as acid reflux and irritable bowel syndrome are commonly associated with anxiety and PTSD, these physical symptoms can also end up having a large impact on your daily life. IBS can cause you to cut out many types of foods and affect how late you can be out, which may worsen the pessimism we discussed in the first point. It's incredibly important that we keep up with our physical health and our mental health. Did you have your physical this year? This is your friendly reminder to make your annual doc appointments. We got you. Number three, you feel like no one sticks around. Do you know what your attachment style is? Typically, you learn your attachment style through your relationship with your parents, since they're some of the first people around during early childhood. Meet Sam. They have a mom who they believe to have both narcissistic and borderline personality disorders. The mom would shower Sam with affection and praise when they were getting A's in school and brag to other parents about how great they are. However, if Sam did anything without considering their mom in mind, Sam would be told that they're selfish and inconsiderate. Due to this inconsistency, Sam may come to believe that they're only loved for what they do and not for who they are. In adulthood, they may require a lot of reassurance in their relationships because of this on and off again type of love they received as a child. Number four, you feel like you're struggling to function in the world. I have an amazing friend. Let's call her Julia. Julia has a full-time job, two teenage daughters, goes on adventures, is always there for her friends, and even finds a way to sneak in a gym session while still being able to put dinner on the table. How she makes time for self-care and herself is beyond me. She has everything together and a plan for everything. Me, on the other hand, I'm what you might call a hot mess. I have two jobs, but feel like I'm stumbling through life nowadays. I blur through the days, going from one job to the next and somehow throw chores and cooking in. I usually end up having to skip the workout sesh because I simply don't have time for everything. I don't know where I put things and I can never remember important details of each day. This is a form of disorganization and can be learned through childhood trauma. Part of my childhood trauma involved an authoritarian parent who always told me what to do all the time. As a result, I did not develop scheduling or prioritizing skills which led to disorganization in adulthood. So while good habits and healthy relationships can set you up for a healthy life, 
unhealthy and potentially toxic qualities and habits you learn in your childhood can also end up growing into a true problem in adulthood. So do you recognize any of these signs in your own life? Leave an earth globe emoji in the comments. Do you know someone who has these outlooks? Let us know down below. As always, keep an eye on Sai for more Psych2Go content. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and see you in our next video.